General health and environment is another thing that really contributes to our stress levels. And today, Jess is gonna help us to understand what that looks like and how we can be healthier and less stressed in these ways. Yep. Yes, today with our stress busters, we are covering a couple of things. So general physical health and our environment. So um, first one is physical wellness. Um, so that's just treating illness, basically. Okay. So, um, you know, being well can actually increase our resistance to negative emotions and help mm -hmm. us manage stress better. Okay. If we're unwell, especially if we're chronically unwell, yep. that can be a huge um, factor in our stress. 100%. So, yep. you know, ongoing pain issues, or if you've got tight muscles, or something is undiagnosed, or you're just sick all the time, mm -hmm. it's worth just get physically well. Um, figure mm -hmm. out what's going on, um, and then if you do have like a chronic illness or a chronic pain thing going on, um, again, finding someone to talk to about how to manage that and manage the emotional stress and feelings around that. Yeah, so if you have like chronic sickness or chronic pain, mm. it's not unusual for that, but you're having a significant impact on your mental, mental health. health. So Huge. as well as your physical needs, you might be yeah. worthwhile going and yeah. seeing someone or talking to somebody about yeah. how you're going how to emotionally, that. mentally too, because yeah. it will be having an impact. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, we all know that when we're unwell, or we've got, you know, um, a bung shoulder, which I've had for a little while too, um, it, it can stress us out a bit So yeah, when so. it's just not getting resolved. So heading to your doctor or just doing what you need to do to get physically well mm -hmm. um, can be part of stress management too. Okay. So the second part of this <laughs> is nutrition. <laughs> yeah. um, now, nutrition and stress can absolutely be linked, um, mm -hmm. whether it be that we are eating because we are stressed, stress eating, which I think we all do sometimes. Oh, look, yeah, this is one of my real challenges. Fast food and me when I'm stressed. It's definitely look, something that I look for. It's Shut definitely. Up. <laughs> we do. And look, I, I could go into a whole bunch of stuff around that, but there's, there's reasons mm -hmm. for that. But we all do it. Stress eating is a thing. Yeah. Um, but then also what we eat can also then lead to more stress as well. Okay. Um, just because, you know, when we're doing, um, I guess, more of the unhealthy foods um, mm -hmm. or foods that are not fueling our bodies well, we start mm -hmm. to get more unwell. Um, we start to get those highs and those lows because we're not stable. Yeah. Um, if we're not eating um, and we're getting hungry and then we're getting hangry and then, you know, yeah. things like that or eating on the run, we're just, you know, unhelpful yeah. food habits and unhelpful food choices. My tummy grows and I feel <laughs> Yeah. So that all, all impacts as well. So food can actually, though, help stress. So okay. the right foods um, and obviously, disclaimer, um, please make sure if you are changing anything with food that you, you might want to go and see a dietitian or nutritionist first. Okay. Just there are some general knowledge things out there though. Yeah. Um, and I have done a little bit of training, but again, not a nutritionist, not a right. dietitian. So. so before I stop eating a lot of KFC, I should check on my doctor first. <laughs> I think that one's a bit more oh, okay. simple. <laughs> right. no so there are certain foods that can actually um, boost certain chemicals or things in our body like serotonin. So serotonin okay. is linked to good mood mm -hmm. um, and calming the brain. So oats is one of those things that's sort of well known as like a, a good nervous system sort of food and boosting mood levels. You get some porridge. Get some porridge into you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's other foods that help reduce the stress hormone of cortisol. Okay. Um, healthy foods also keep your immune system strong. So when our immune system strong, it can counteract the effects of stress. And, so and when you say healthy food, what are you talking about when you... Do you mean like fruit and veg and that? Yeah. Of the other things that are going to... Yeah, happen? foods that are giving us the nutrients that we need. Okay. Um, so yeah, fruit and veg obviously is a huge part of that. So yeah. um, the less processed and junky food you can eat, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we need good fuel for our Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> but if we look, if we have if we have good immune systems, yeah. we get healthy. Sometimes food, I can have some sometimes food. Yes, it's, okay. yeah, there's sometimes food, there's everyday food, and there's occasional food. Yeah. So, yeah. I occasionally um, way too much sometimes food. There's even, <laughs> there's even like food, so, um, you know, every... Food has something different, different nutrients in it. So okay. magnesium, for example, we've heard of like taking magnesium baths or magnesium spray for sore muscles. Mm. Um, so there's foods that are higher in magnesium that might help with muscle tension as well. Okay. So just learning, 
few things like that um mm-hmm. and yeah other foods are high in vitamin b so some people take vitamin b supplements for stress and energy whereas you can get you know maybe more vitamin b from your foods so mm. um so food has a lot that can it can give to us in the way of helping manage mood and stress and health okay. and immunity and things like that so um now <laughs> coffee I don't drink I coffee. I love coffee. I do drink coffee. Yeah. But I have one or two a day. Yeah. Um, and there is research that shows that people who regularly drink four or five cups a day yeah. actually have a rise in the level of their stress hormones. Well, those naughty people Sorry, drink all guys. that caffeine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So just so, so be too, mindful too much of the intake though. of coffee, caffeine, that yeah, kind right. of thing. So it can actually increase stress levels. Um and I mean, we all know those jittery sort of, well, I do anyway, if I have too much coffee, like it actually affects my body and it affects my okay. heart rate and I'll get jittery. Mm-hmm. So that's those stress hormones level coming up. So, right. and a bit more alert. <laughs> I don't want that all the time. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So look, as I said before, if you're unsure, please get professional advice, but there's obviously some sort of basics that we can follow and, and just understanding the impact that food can have on our mental health and mood mm. and stress as well as the other way around, that obviously when we're stressed, we're probably more likely to make choices that are not so beneficial. So just understanding that relationship. Sweet. Final thing, environment, physical environment, the environment around us. We don't often think about this when it comes to stress. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not always easy to make immediate changes with this, so sometimes it's longer term. But what I mean by that is um, if we don't have, say we're studying and we need a quiet place to study and we don't have one, that's stressful. Mm. We've got just in a noisy environment all the time. We've got nowhere to go aside and actually be still, like be quiet and learn and learn and do what we need to do. Especially if you work in an open office and yeah. you've got a lot of noise around you and you yeah. can't control that. Maybe chucking on some noise cancelling yeah. headphones if it stresses you out. Yeah. Um, earplugs at night if you live on a noisy road or there's dogs barking. I've had to do that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's this is the type of environment that we're talking about. So if you're in a noisy environment, if you live on a busy road or there's lots of um, stuff going on in your home. Um, so some of these things um, might be longer term changes like mm-hmm. relocating if really need be or okay. just finding simple solutions that are going to reduce those stress levels, um, including things like ergonomic furniture. So if we're sitting at our computers all day and we're in a bad chair, we've got poor posture, we actually haven't checked our eyes and our eye, we're getting headaches, um, and we're not taking breaks or there's no windows, mm-hmm. gosh, like our, the way our physical bodies, like our bodies will be at the end of that will not be good. And okay. then that can just lead to more problems, which lead to stress. So... All this, this this stuff comes into it. <laughs> we don't often think about it. So yeah. the um, environment pl- does play a big yeah, part it does. in the way you feel, in the way you're yeah. interacting with the world around Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think for me, one of the biggest ones that I'm aware of for me is noise. Mm. So um, if I'm in a noisy environment um, that's a bit just too much, then that can stress me out. Mm. Or if I'm getting disturbed sleep or disturbed peace at home because of it, mm. um, again, that can add to my stress so it does impact so think about the environment around you as well so yeah yeah, checking in on your physical wellness and your health um, and just getting that under control um, nutrition and your general environment as well sweet